Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making meat sauce. Sure, you could call this a ragu or even a bolognese, but I'm not Italian. I'm an Irish Mexican Valley girl, so I call it meat sauce. After all, I'm serving this spicy sausage meat sauce over pappardelle. And really, isn't pappardelle enough of the beautiful Italian language for me to butcher in one video? Let's make meat sauce. These are spicy Italian sausages that I'm removing the casings from. Don't even ask me what the casings are because you don't want to know. Over medium heat, break apart the sausages and get some color on them. This is some lean ground beef. Get this in here and continue breaking the large hunks into smaller pieces. Keep the heat up high so the meat will sear and not steam, but be careful not to let it burn. When the meat is cooked and caramelized a bit, it's time to add the sofrito which is fancy Italian speak for finely chopped onion, carrot, and celery. And this is some chopped red bell pepper. Give this a good stir and get those vegetables going. This is some minced garlic. Watch the heat after you add the garlic because you don't want it to burn and get bitter. Mm-hmm. This is dried parsley, Italian herb blend, crushed red pepper, and salt. Give this a good mixing and turn the heat back up just a bit. This is dry white wine and chicken broth. Keep stirring and let this cook down a bit. This is half and half. You can use heavy cream if you like. The cream is what deepens and holds all those flavors together. Keep stirring and let it cook down some more. This is tomato paste. Get this stirred in. Now I've got some chopped canned tomatoes and their juice. This is tomato sauce. Give this another good stir. And of course, the obligatory taste test. That's right. Mmm. At this point, don't be too critical. The flavors are going to deepen as the sauce reduces and thickens. You can always adjust the seasonings later if you need to. If you over-season now, it's going to be really over-seasoned later. I'm going to turn the heat all the way down, cover this, and let it simmer for at least an hour. If you can go two or three, all the better. Oh yeah. As you can see, this is a boatload of sauce. You don't want to pair this hearty meat sauce with a wimpy angel hair pasta. And my favorite is pappardelle. For the most delicious marriage of pasta and sauce, you want to finish cooking the pasta in the sauce. I've portioned out some of the sauce in this saute pan, and this is my slightly sub al dente pappardelle. Toss the pasta in the sauce, and as Vic Casanova would say, you've got love in a pan. Bowl it up. Top with some Parmesan cheese and dig in. Get the meat sauce recipe at averagebetty.com. I hope you stir up a big batch of meat sauce soon. Call it a ragu or a bolognese. Just don't call me late for dinner. Find me on Facebook and Twitter, and you can always drop by my home at averagebetty.com. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time.